My name is Leticia. My name is Selena. My name is Esther, and I have a voice. I used to think that I didn't have the right to speak. So I stopped. But I am speaking up now. My name is Esther. My name is Leticia. My name is Selena. And I have a voice. Empower started working with adolescent girls in 2006. We knew that girls were the most discriminated against, faced the most challenges, had the least opportunities, and that's where we wanted to make our investment. If you go and talk to girls all over the world and you divide them up into age group 10 to 12, 13 to 14, 15 and over, if you ask them about their dreams and their aspirations for what they want to be when they grow up, the younger girls 10 to 12 will tell you they want to be prime minister or president. If you ask the girls that are 13 to 15 what they want to be, they'll say teachers or maybe nurses. If you ask the girls over 15, they just are trying to survive. What we're doing by focusing on the very young girls saying there's a storyline here, there's a narrative here that girls don't need to lose that ambition or that hope. What Empower have done ensures that in partnerships are much more girl-led and girl-centered within the wider organization. One thing that always resonates in my mind is actually what Cynthia said many years ago, which was, why is it so revolutionary that girls should be within the driving seats of decisions on their own lives? And the reason that people think it's revolutionary is because nobody does it. Empower has been supporting an adolescent girls learning community in Mumbai. This is bringing together seven of our grantee partners and girl leaders from those communities. They are helping us to decide what programming should look like and what our strategic direction should be within India. And this approach leads to three very, very important things. One is that we increase our chances of success. Because when we recognize what the barriers to entry are, we increase the likelihood that girls will stay in programs. The second thing is that we become accountable to these girls. We are saying to them, tell us what you think. And we make those changes in our programming. And then when we're done, we report back to them. And we say, look, based on what you said to us, these are the sorts of things that we've done. Empower supports boys and young men for a number of different reasons. For one thing, girls are telling us that it's really important to reach their peers and their brothers and their male cousins. If the world is going to change for girls, it has to involve boys and young men. And we also know that boys are confined by social norms. They don't get any favors by being put into rigid ideas about masculinity. We know that girls are the experts on their own lives. What we're all about is turning up the volume on the microphone that they have, giving them the chance to speak out and be heard.